Welcome to the Controlling Video Solution Series. This video shows how to replace the Gateway SSL certificate for Control M Managed File Transfer Enterprise. Control M Managed File Transfer Enterprise has a hub component and a gateway component. The gateway typically runs in a DMZ and accepts incoming traffic from external users coming from the internet. The MFT gateway listens on FTPS and HTTPS ports and uses a default certificate for that that was generated at installation time. We're going to replace that certificate with one of our own. Here we are in the configuration manager and we can see managed file transfer B2B is installed. Let's go to the MFT B2B settings. If we click the settings pane here, we see the hub, gateway and site settings. So if we go to the gateway settings, we can see the ports that the gateway is defined to listen to. So we can see 9443 for the HTTP port and SSL is enabled. This is the current key store it's using and its password. And we can see FTPS is also SSL enabled with the same key store and password. So both FTPS and HTTPS are using the same key store, the same certificate. We can see that also if we connect to the gateway using the browser. It shows us the file exchange login screen and we can see it's warning us it's not secure because the certificate that's currently being used is the one that was generated at install time. So that's a self-signed certificate, not signed by a CA. So this is the certificate we're going to replace. This is the MFT Gateway machine. MFT 9018 Gateway with PEXPAC2 is installed. Data directory we can see inside. This is the SSL key store that was referenced from the Gateway settings. I've already received a new key store to use for my security people. So I'm going to copy that key store to this data directory and then I'm going to point the gateway settings to use that key store instead. So it's in the data directory so I only need to replace the key store file name and of course type the correct password for that key store and do the same thing under HTTPS and I'll save the settings And meanwhile, on the gateway machine, we want to restart the gateway. So shut it down first and start it back up again. So the gateway was started. Now to test this properly, I also need to close and restart my browser because the browser will have cached the previous certificate that was used. We can already see uh, now I'm not getting a warning. So it's showing as a normal secure site. Certificate shows as valid. And if I open the properties, I see there's a new certificate here that was actually signed by the CA that my browser trusts. So that's all working. Thank you for watching this Control M Solutions video. Please watch our YouTube channel for more videos like this.